Hey, John Cristani here, and I'm gonna be giving you an affiliate marketing tutorial for beginners if you just don't know what niche to start selling products in. I've made tens of millions of dollars selling products as an affiliate marketer. You don't need any inventory to get started. You don't need any money to get started, and anybody can do this. It's very simple, and I'm gonna go over exactly how to decide where to start in affiliate marketing if you're just a complete beginner novice and have no idea where to get started. Now, I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a tutorial of what niche to start in if you're just kind of just completely green, a total noob with two zeros in it, and let's get right into this. Now, the first piece of advice I'd give you, having made tens of millions of dollars, is actually to start with a mass market niche. Now, a lot of folks in affiliate marketing start with some sort of make money niche, but there are many other niches other than that. Keep in mind, almost everything is bought over the internet now. I mean, 2020 has been a turning point. People are buying more products than ever through the internet as opposed to in real world, and you could be a part of that and make some of that money in all of that transactions that are floating around. Now, the big three niches in affiliate marketing are health, wealth, and relationships. Now, I have a product called the super affiliate system, which you can make money with and uh, through the ClickBank or the Digistore affiliate networks. And that's in the wealth niche, right? But health and relationships are even bigger. Health is probably the biggest niche of them all because most people actually aren't concerned with necessarily making more money. Most people tend to be fairly comfortable with their incomes and they just want to look better or they want to feel better or they want to be skinny or more beautiful. And those kind of fall under the health niche, right? Fitness, weight loss, beauty, all kind of fit under that general headline. And then you have relationships, which is probably the thing that people care most about. And there are a lot of products out there where people can, you know, learn how to be better in relationships. Also about dating websites, which is a very, very large niche online. And it's always been. And what's great about health, wealth, and relationships is these are niches which are always going to be around. These are problems that people always are going to want to have solved. People are always, for the next hundred years, for the next thousand years, for a thousand years in the past, will need to be and desire to be in relationships. People for thousands of years and for thousands of years moving forward have desire to look better and be healthier until we get uploaded into like a computer program like Elon Musk is trying to do with his Neuralink, people are still going to need to be healthy and look good. And for thousands of years and for thousands of years moving forward, people are going to need to be able to produce money or some sort of currency, whatever that is, to sustain their lives. So ultimately, these are niches that are not going to go away. I suggest you start off in them because there always is going to be this need for them. So you know that if you are promoting something to help people make more money, to help people be healthier, or to help people get in relationships or be in better relationships, that really you're marketing to a problem that is important. And if you can't sell products in that niche, then it's not that people don't need what you have to sell. It's that you're marketing it wrong. So you can eliminate that variable right away. Now, one of the things I do in my own business is uh, this is something I learned from uh, David Rusenko, the co-founder of Weebly, is you always want to optimize your business to minimize unknown unknowns. There are four quadrants. There are known knowns, unknown knowns, known unknowns, and unknown unknowns. And as much as you can, optimize for the unknown unknowns. And you know that you aren't going to have a problem selling products in either of these three monster niches as long as you go into one of them. Now, the second tip I have for you is to interact 
interact with the audience in your niche before you start marketing it. So before you start your YouTube channel where you're talking about how people can make money or before you start your Instagram where you're motivating people to get fit or before you start your Pinterest where you're displaying images or advice of how to get in better relationships or to get on more dates. Interact with that audience. Talk to people. Again, many marketers tend to be introverts. Many people become marketers and affiliate marketers in particular because they don't want to actually talk to people. They just want to make money online and type in that's me if you are an introvert and you just don't want to talk to people and make money online. That's why you're doing this. But I'm telling you the most valuable data and the best way to get good at marketing and selling to these folks is to actually talk to them and hear their pain points in person. Hear what their problems are of why they believe they're not making any money hear why they don't believe they're getting in the right relationships. Talk to them and hear what's holding them back from sticking to their diet or their fitness programs. And you'll get very valuable information that you can use and talk to your audience on a very personal one-to-one -one level in order to help them succeed. And that in line will help you build your audience on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, or help you do your advertising on the same sorts of networks. Now, I'm a constant question asker. In fact, it actually annoys a number of people by the amount of questions I ask because I'm always drilling down to get information. I'm always asking people about their lives, what they believe is holding them back, and I I try to do it in as non-invasive way as possible, but this gives me an advantage over other folks that just scroll on their Facebook news feed looking at what their friends are saying and living in a bubble. Again, I keep expanding my bubble. I keep expanding my circle of influence all the time and, you know, I'm teaching people how to make money. So I'm always asking people about their side hustles, about what they're doing, what's holding them back, why they don't believe they are where they think they should be. And a very personal one-to-one -one understanding of how to sell products in my particular niche, which is called make money online. So I've niched down within the wealth niche to online money, but there are a number of other niches such as real estate money, stock trading money, MLM money, etc. And my third piece of advice would be to give away some sort of free report or white paper or guide or calendar, whatever it is to help people in your particular niche. Many marketers go into any of these niches and just try to push affiliate products and remain undifferentiated. And it's very easy to become just another marketer in a particular niche. But you can differentiate yourself by giving away some sort of report or guide or step-by-step -step or you know video or calendar that is jam-packed with value that will attract people to you. For example, let's say you want to sell products in the sleep niche, right? Helping people sleep good, which is falls under the overall banner of the health niche. What you could do is you could give away a calendar that helps people chart their sleep. Or you could give away a free ebook that goes over advice on how to help people get better sleep. And in this ebook or in this calendar or guide or whatever you want to call it, you could have links, multiple affiliate offers that help people get better sleep. There are a lot of sleep related products on Amazon. There's a ring that you can wear. There's apps you can buy. There are pillows, there are mattresses, there are all sorts of bed sheets that are supposedly help you get better sleep. There's essential oils that help people get better sleep. There's supplements that help people get better sleep. And what you can advise in your guide or ebook or calendar is you could have links to all of these products every step of the way so that you can make money from a dozen sleep-related products. And you could do this through 
through Amazon's affiliate program just to give an example. Now, if you've created a good guide that people draw value from and people are relying on, they'll buy from your links. Now, just like PewDiePie, which is a popular video gaming YouTuber, has a number of affiliate links to the chair he sits in and the headset he wears and the games he plays, in his video description, you could also start a YouTube channel and just talk about sleep-related activities and let that be your free value and then put affiliate links underneath your description. And check out one of PewDiePie's videos and you'll see affiliate links. You'll see how he does affiliate marketing.